So we're back again for Better Safe, and it's week 10 of the Aviva Premiership, and it's Acker time. Jim, we both got them wrong last week. Tell me about your Acker for this week. It's Acker time. It's hammer time, mate. First game I've gone for, Worcester versus Sale. Worcester are going to win this. Do you think? Man, how good they've been. They beat Leicester at the weekend. They smashed Leicester. Their defence, Francois Hogarth's come back into it. Is it Francois? Francois. Francois. Yeah. Francois Hogarth's come back in at scrum half, changed that team. He probably single-handedly kept them up last year. And I think Worcester are in great form. I th I th Sale, they're OK. They're one of these teams, hot and cold. They're a good team. But I'm just going to back Worcester for this one. The next game I've gone for, Exeter versus Bath. Extra Chiefs, mate. You can't, look past, mate. you can't look past them. They're very good at unbeaten at Sandy Park again this year so far. Mate, they're just a quality team. Bath were brilliant at the weekend against yeah. Quinns, by the way. But I've gone for Exeter. I just think too well coached, just too big, too strong. Simmons back in, Henry Slade back in. You know, they're going to be in the final this year. So I've gone for Exeter in the Bath game. The Gloucester versus London Irish match. Mate, how good have Gloucester been? Well, they've done well. They beat Newcastle away at the weekend. Couldn't believe it. That's neither what we did, us, Neither of us no, backed we didn't. Didn't we? That's what we did. But... This one we should be able to bat. And this is where we'll know, really, with Gloucester against London Irish. Notoriously, Gloucester have struggled against the lesser teams. Yep. We saw them smash Newcastle at the weekend. London Irish are nosediving. Yes, they played well at the weekend against Wasp, but it's going to be tough for King's Own. So I've gone for Gloucester. And then we spoke about it in the featured match. As always, I've gone for Saracens to beat Quinns. Just because I'm from Saracens and I don't like Quinns. You don't, do you? I hate them. No, I just don't like them. Yeah. They don't like me. They don't either. No, you're dead right. Yeah, so just a recap of who I've gone for then. I've gone Worcester to beat Sale, Exeter to beat Bath, Gloucester, or Gloss, to beat Irish, and the mighty Saracens to beat Quinns. There we go. Who you gone for? Well, my Acker, I'm going for some really interesting ones. I'm going to start off with Northampton against Newcastle. Northampton and Newcastle, both teams have lost their last four games in the Premiership. That's why I didn't know how you're going to call this. Well, I'm you? just going on home form. I'm going on Northampton, have to eventually win at home. Although Newcastle beat them in this game last season at uh, Franklin's Gardens. Northampton are getting Courtney Laws back in the team. Piers Francis as well. Dylan Hartley, I'm sure he'll come back in the team. So they're getting some international quality to come back off a decent autumn internationals. Finally, they've got to run into some form. And um, I think Piers Francis is the key guy in the backs. I'm going for a Northampton Saints victory over one of my old clubs, Newcastle. And then we're going to move on. I agree with you. Exeter against Bath. Exeter, Sandy Park. It's not even worth talking about. They're going to win that, hands down. Bath are a good team. Freddie Burns playing well at 10. Reese Priestland comes back into the mix. Toby Faletau as well. But Exeter at Sandy Park, they're just invincible. So Toby Faletau back for Bath? He's going to go oh, back for Bath. I might change my mind. Yeah. But no, no. Exeter invincible at home. Uh, then we're going to go, I agree with you, Gloucester against London Irish. London Irish on the road have been poor this year. They're taking some hammerings uh, away at Saracens, uh, up at Sale as well. But Gloucester back in some tip-top form. An away victory and a bonus point victory up at Kingston Park at the weekend. Really good result for them. Uh, Gloucester will carry on their good form. They beat Saracens two weeks ago as well. Yeah, so their defense, their a good team. Is outstanding. The Johan Ackerman effect, they're it calling is. it. And then finally, you talk about your teams. This was hard for me. Wasps against Leicester. We both played for Leicester. I am involved with Wasps now. It's at the Rico Arena. So you've gone for Leicester because you won a load of trophies with them, yeah? I'm going for Wasps. Wasps at the Rico Arena. We're back on form. We're pushing back in towards the top four. We've got Cipriani fit again. We? Which one's we? We is we. Wasps. We should be Leicester. We is also Leicester. But okay. this week, my we is Wasps. I'm going Wasps to win. So let's just have a quick recap of this. Northampton to beat Newcastle. Exeter to beat Bath. Gloucester to beat Irish. And Wasps to beat Leicester Tigers. I think my odds are going to be better than yours. Well, we will see. And that's it for week 10. We're into week 10 already. I'm knackered. I am. <laughs> but I'm Jim Hamilton. This is Andy Good, And we are, we, as in Saracens, not you, so me, not, not we, me, the official, look, the principal partner, go on, you say it. The principal partner of Saracens. Yes, yeah, so a bet safe and Saracens. Probably should have said that. <laughs> <laughs>